For those wondering, yes, I'm being petty, honestly. You shouldn't have pissed me off. If you wouldn't have pissed me off, I wouldn't even be doing all of this, honestly. But you pissed me off. You did. For months. You did. So if you're irritated by my content as of lately, I'm very happy about that. Let's get into the pettiness. On October 10, 2023, Rhoda was seen outside at a strip club twerking on her head. Now, this is what she decided to post to her Instagram account during this time. And this was her first time back outside after the alleged attack. Now, a lot of people are wanting to know, well, what happened to her head? Because I don't think a water bottle did that. I don't either, which is why for me to give an accurate opinion regarding the situation in full, I need to see the surveillance footage. But the Houston police has not released that yet because this situation is still under investigation. We don't know what's on that video footage, but what I do know is that this woman was outside twerking on her head October the 10th, 2023, shortly after the incident. And I'm thinking to myself, severe trauma to the head. How can you be outside twerking on your head like that? very odd to me. Then another thing, she was also on Instagram playing the perfect victim saying that she was experiencing trauma and PTSD from her alleged attacker, but she had no problem going to a raggedy ass Houston strip club. And this is a male dominated space outside of the women working there. You know, if you go to a strip club, it's going to be more men there than women. Let's take a look at this video clip. Last night, I had to come out! 